At the place where Lake Maracaibo meets the Catatumbo River, lightning occurs on average 28 times per minute for up to nine hours each day after dusk for around 300 days each year, accompanied by a storm. There are 250 lightning strikes per square kilometer every single year. Lake Maracaibo is the largest lake in Venezuela, a brackish bay that meets the Caribbean Sea in the north. These unusually concentrated incidences have made Catatumbo lightning a phenomenon in its own right. It is most active in the months of September and October, and least active in January and February. There are two well-known spots that mark this remarkable incidence, the southwest region of the lake and the Colombia-Venezuela border. It disappeared for several months starting in January of 2010, but started up again after a short hiatus with some attributing the change to shifting global weather patterns. This awe-inspiring phenomenon creates quite a sight to behold. It lights up the sky with streaks of phosphorescent colors, the white light being absorbed by dust and moisture to create a vibrant, colorful illusion. It can illuminate areas up to 400 kilometers away, with the sound of the accompanying thunder not reaching anyone but the immediate witnesses. Its occurrence over water during the night contradicts the global pattern of lightning, which tends to occur over land in the afternoon. This phenomenon has helped Venezuela earn the position as the world record holder for the highest concentration of lightning. This predictable storm is driven by the interaction of local and seasonal drivers of climate. Certain unique topographical features also contribute to the escalation of the lightning's frequency. The tropical summer sun and its resultant heat that pulls moisture from the lake and the Caribbean Sea with its perpetual warm water provide sufficient moisture for the constant storms. Mountain ridges, part of the Andes Mountains, cordon off three sides of the lake, so the warm air has limited space to move north. Strong, cool winds gust across these range in the evening and collide with the rising warm air to create the perfect instability to feed the formation of a cumulonimbus cloud. These towering clouds are further responsible for the increased frequency of lightning. Angel Munoz developed a model that could predict the occurrence of lightning, or at least the climatic conditions associated with an oncoming bout of lightning. He studied the effects of different factors, such as sea surface temperatures, humidity, wind, and the convective available potential energy, CAPE, in the development of this model. The CAPE variable is a measure of the instability needed for storm development. The model found that a combination of the CAPE variable and the Maracaibo Basin nocturnal low-level jet is responsible for the daily incidence of lightning. The latter is a swift current of air that transports moisture from the Caribbean and the lake to its southwest basin, which then interacts with the mountain ranges. That said, sufficient moisture must be present to create static charges in lightning, which can be used to explain the differential intensity and frequency of lightning. For example, El Nino weather patterns result in drier weather and less moisture being transported. The Catatumbo lightning phenomenon has gone from being a supernatural conundrum to a unique meteorological event, but one that can still be explained by certain natural variables and their complex interactions.